Cheeky Richo's trifle. I left a so can you? We're gonna show you what to do. Watch our channel and you'll see just how easy it can be. Cheeky Richo is waiting. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Homemade Trifle. This delicious chilled dessert uses fresh fruit in season or canned if you can't get fresh fruit. Sponge cake, best to use a day old. A drizzle of port. Jelly, custard and cream in layers. It's absolutely delicious. It looks impressive and it's an old family favourite. The ingredients will be in the recipe box below. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is put our jelly crystals into a heat proof bowl and add 200 grams of boiling water. Now we're going to stir this until all of the jelly crystals have dissolved and put it to one side. Once all the jelly crystals have completely dissolved we are going to add another 200 grams of cold water. This will speed up the setting process of the jelly. If you started this in the morning, it will be ready to do by lunch. Okay, our jelly crystals and sugar have completely dissolved. It's time to add our cold water and pop it in the fridge to cool but not set completely. Okay, the next thing we're going to do for our trifle is to the Thermo Chef jug, we are going to add our milk. Our pure vanilla extract, our sugar and our custard powder. Let's pop it all in together. Then we're going to set it to speed 3, 90 degrees for a couple of minutes. It really doesn't get any easier than that. You don't have to stir it, you don't have to watch it. Okay, while our custard has been cooking, we have sliced our plums, red ones and white ones there. They're all supposed to be red, you can't tell from the skin. And we have cooked our custard. I told you it was easy. Five minutes, 90 degrees, no lumps, perfect. Okay, now we're going to put that into a container that is shallow and long so that we can cool it quickly. The reason being, if you add hot custard to even cold jelly, it will mix up together and you won't have the separate layers and that is not what you want when you're trying to make a layered dessert. So cold custard, cold jelly, cold fruit, cold cake. Layer it all together and top it with cold cream. Okay, for our truffle we are going to get our sponge cake and a very pretty bowl, a clear bowl because that's the way it works best. And we're just going to slice our sponge cake, cut it into little pieces and drop it in to our pretty bowl. Then we're going to drizzle it with our port wine or fruit juice if you'd rather have a non-alcoholic version. Just put our little pieces around the edge Make it dainty if you can. So what you have is a little soldiers all around the edge there. There's one that's not as pretty as he could be. There we go. Sorted. Okay, there's another one. Just turn him around too. And then just tumble the rest into the middle. Now we're going to get our port and just dribble it around our sponge cubes. Now we are going to ladle some of our custard over our little sponge cake soldiers and put that into the refrigerator. Layer some of our fruit around the edge as well, which has just been sliced up. If you can face it outwards so that the skin is against the glass, it would visually be more interesting. And just a couple in the centre. They're going to be covered, so you don't have to worry too much about those. Now we pop that into the fridge to chill. Now for our trifle, we are going to put our jelly, which is partially set, on top of our fruit. Some people actually set the cake in the jelly, but I find it makes it go a bit gritty and a bit soggy tasting, and the custard doesn't do that. Plus, it will colour the cake to whatever colour your jelly is. Because I'm using port wine jelly, because we use port in it as well, it just carries the flavour through. Now, another layer of our cooled custard, which is already starting to get a bit of a skin on it, but don't worry about that because the whole thing's going to be covered with fruit and cream anyway. We do want it at the edge because we need to have the colour of the custard through the glass. We don't need to, but it's better if we do. Just like so. Okay, now we layer our fruit with the skin out, if we can, around the outside. Again, in petal fashion. And then 
a couple more scoops of our custard just on the inside there to completely cover our jelly. Another couple of layers of our fruit around the inside of that. It's slippery, a bit like a flower. Smooth that around a bit, a bit. There we go. Just push our fruit over like so and push him underneath if we can. Okay. Just serve this with a dollop of whipped cream and you wouldn't find a more delicious dessert. So we're just going to pop that in the fridge now to completely chill. If you add the cream now, it's going to get a bit ordinary by the time it's serving time. The, the cream will actually collapse. So get this chilled off properly first, then we add the cream and then we serve. Okay, our trifle has been sitting in the fridge and it's thoroughly chilled now. The jelly has set. We're just going to serve it. Try and get some custard and some jelly and some sponge cake and some fresh fruit. See the layers in there? Because we haven't put the jelly into the sponge cake, it's kept a bit of its integrity. Now we're just going to put some canned whipped cream on here and a sprinkle of these little toasted coconut chips. You just buy them in a the supermarket like that. They're absolutely delicious. They're crunchy, they're sweet and they're very coconutty. I know this looks a little bit like a car accident, but I can tell you it's absolutely delicious. And there you have it, Cheeky Richo's Homemade Trifle. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out the Cheeky Richo channel and please subscribe, leave a comment, a recipe suggestion or a request. All feedback is really welcome. Do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Cheeky Richo's homemade trifle with fresh fruit.